Hello, my fellow racers, and welcome to Super Pilot. Um, yeah, you guys might know me as that one horny F0 racer for a certain character, but this time I want to show something different. You see, when I found this game out back in, yeah, I don't know, uh, 2019, I believe? I have no idea uh, exactly. Um, I saw this game, uh, and I thought, hmm, it looked awfully f similar to F-Zero. And uh, how they introduced uh, to editing uh, uh, tracks uh, is like sim similar to F-Zero X, which I really like. Um, and it's, it's work most uh, for the most part. Uh, we'll get to uh, there uh, in a bit. Um, what I'm going to show you guys is I'm going to show you uh, my take on what a Grand Prix should uh, look like. Because I'm not gonna BS anybody. I hate this mode. I hate the Grand Prix. The, these tracks are awful. L like th there's uh, a, like a, a couple of tracks that are okay. But there's one track that I really fucking despise. Um, so, I'm going to show you what I have uh, did um, uh, back in uh, the day. Um, what I, I I like to make uh, tracks uh, based on the Grand Prix that we all uh, know and love. Like five tracks and yeah, that's the whole cup, right? So, I did it prior to the update when you can uh, do custom leaks. And when they came up with uh, came up with that uh, update, uh, I was overjoyed because now I can show the uh, like the rest of these players is like, hey, I've made these tracks prior. This is my, these are my uh, Grand Prix. Uh, play them uh, at your leisure. So yeah, uh, without further ado, I'm gonna show you. Uh, my tracks. I'm gonna show you the cops and uh, gonna tell you um, uh, stories about each uh, track that I uh, did. So yeah, let's do that. Um, also, I uh, gonna play it with Fox. Uh, this this is my favorite uh, ship so far. Um, this this ship needs to be nerfed. At least in the in the AI uh, part, because holy shit, every time I do a track, that, like these guys are like on, on second, and third, fourth, and the rest, like all of them are are so low. I, I believe these this one is the lowest. Uh, so, so yeah, Boo Boo needs a buff. <laughs> <laughs> this names. Also, I, personally, I really want to have uh, four instead of uh, or five instead of, instead of four uh, stats points that you can uh, uh, have variety in it. Because you, if you do it so um, a lim limited uh, with four, you have like very limited uh, variety as well. Um, but yeah, without further ado, with that. Let's get racing. So we're doing nine, mass of course, enabled, and yeah, I don't know. It's just for show, right? So the first track is broad loop. So broad loop is like your your your, your standard first uh, racing track, right? There's a loop. It has like, big health plates, um, boost plates here and there. It's it. It's, it should be like the uh, the tutorial level, right? Just to learn you about the, the boost plates. Because here's the thing, I want to introduce uh, new players uh, to these mechanics. So you might wonder why do i have insta health fields uh in these uh health uh fields that uh, don't normally have them well because those uh with uh without them doesn't work uh, to my satisfaction 
because if you have played F0 GX and you try to boost in these health plates, you uh, get a significant uh, health um, uh, re restored, right? While you're doing that. Um, not in this one, because without them, well, they, they have buffed it uh, recently, but yeah, they could have buffed so much more with it. Um, so they, they are still there. Um, also, uh, when they are going to add environments, or like new environments and that kind of stuff uh, in, in there, I'm, I'm happily to uh, overhaul these tracks. Because personally, I don't like how uh, that last part of this track uh, has like those wavy parts. It should be like as, as flat as possible, um, a hill to another part, and it just goes straight, right? Yeah, and you see, like the the, the, the second to sixth place, they're they're all rays. Um, yeah, you can see w w which which uh, machine needs to be uh, buffed uh, more, uh, right? So that was broad loop. Um, the second one is hyper velocity, and what this track uh, is was meant to learn is well, basically the speed. It's it's simple in that. And when, uh, what I really want to have uh, for uh, new players is uh, like the the the, the satisf uh, uh, satisfaction of uh, hitting those boost plates. Yeah, like you see those uh, row of boost plates uh, uh, back to back. Like it, it should give you a feeling like oh, I, holy shit, I'm really going uh, fast here, right? Well, that was uh, what it was meant to be. Going there, we don't do this again. It's, it's, it's like you, you have these the sounds of it, like you you're hitting these uh, boost plates, and yeah, uh, you, you really like to to, to to boost to to go fast, you know. Pretty trivial track, you know. Even though I almost exploded there because, oh my god. <laughs> I'm overtaking this, <laughs> the AI here. <laughs> yeah. It's not the first track it's going to happen, trust me. Uh, so yeah, that's Hyper Velocity. Uh, yeah, um, quick uh, track. Um, show you how... Uh, that's, yeah. You want to go fast, yeah. It's, uh, want to have to play the satisfaction to to hitting this boot place again. Um, right, uh, next one is Twist Lane. Um, this is uh, going to be a bit more trickier because it's an uh, introduction introduction to a, a, a hazard that's uh, not so beneficial uh, to you. Right. So we're starting with these boost plates. It also uh, an introduction to more um, uh, sharper turns. So that was the twist. Uh, and it's right here. So these are the raw fields. It will slow your ship down significantly. So we have another twist. Go to that corner. And now get to this. Ch chicane, Ch yeah, ch I think it is uh, called chicane uh, with uh, those rough fields. So yeah, that that's uh, one lap. So let's do the boost laps. It's also a, a bit of a uh, learning curve that uh, hey, if you uh, have this um, uh, moments that you don't hit boost plates, it might. Uh, uh, useful to uh, a boost uh, on your own. It, uh, it's uh, sort of testing your accuracy on taking corners, uh, avoiding the fields, avoiding hazards basically on uh, overall. 
seed, boost blade, no boost blades, is it boost yourself? And boost yourself. Right, so this is uh, how you can outspeed uh, like basically any uh, CPU there. Because I, I've seen others playing uh, this track and uh, CPU, uh, yes, uh, does outspeed uh, the player a uh, bit. So, mm -hmm. yeah. That was Twist Lane. Uh, yeah. It, it get a little, a little bit uh, more difficult. <laughs> and it's not getting easier from here, trust me. So, the next one is Narrow Invert. And yes, it, it is based on uh, Sector Alpha and F Zero X. Uh, this track uh, is learning you about all, not only the invert part, but also, well, narrow parts. Because the tr tracks can be made wide, tracks can be made narrow. You might also have noticed um, that I'm not using the music from the game itself because uh, it only provides four different tracks in this uh, uh, game on its own. But luckily, you can put uh, music on your own uh, in a dedicated folder, and it will play uh, the, the the music on the dedicated track. And I really love that because it, it's captured the atmosphere way more than um, the, the original ones. No offense to the, the developers of this game, but yeah, it, like with four, uh, only four different uh, types of environments and music, it's, it's getting stale pretty quickly. Um, yeah, so. This track to learn you about those n narrow parts, uh, getting also these uh, drop-offs. Really smoothly going on. Also, a heads up if I'm not talking uh, much while I'm doing racing. Uh, that's because I'm concentrating. Because there's there are some uh, tracks that I made that uh, that require your attention, um, like at all times. Because uh, once you uh, slip up, it's um, gonna be a disastrous experience. So yeah, that was narrowing for it. It's a uh, uh, again f a fun race track to uh, to race on personally. Um, the next one is uh, not only by me, but also by others who has played this cup. Um, the Warpipe is an excellent track, and you will see why. It is also uh, a point of interest for the developers. Like, uh, auto-generated environments um, with the scenery that you see, the pillars and the, uh, cact the cacti, the plural cacti, uh, does not work properly. And you'll see it right here. See, that's the pillar. That's not what's uh, supposed to uh, go through the pipe. And if you're wondering, uh, so this is um, a des desert place. Why do you place uh, a green plant uh, in, in this race? Well, it's because if they're going to add like a forced uh, part to them, yeah. Uh, I want to have this as a force uh, place. Well, that was the warp pipe uh, that you'll uh, just see. It's I want I really want to uh, satisfy new players uh, because yeah, it's the Ruby Cup. It meant to be like your, your very first um, racing uh, your Grand Prix Cup, right? Um, so yeah. This part it was meant for speed, so we're going this again. <laughs> and also, sorry for anyone who has <laughs> epilepsy out there. That's like 
Um, I, I didn't consider it uh, back then, but um, yeah, I, I, I have no idea. It's like, I, personally, I think if you have epilepsy, don't play games like this intensely, uh, you know, it's, it's really much uh, of uh, flickering uh, uh, going on this uh, this game if you don't uh, pay attention. Not like the, the meant mess was meant to uh, have epilepsy in the game, but yeah, it's <laughs> here it goes again. Uh, I, I, I love this part, really. And that was the Ruby Cup, so yeah. Uh, meant to be uh, a beginner-friendly uh, Grand Prix, like I said. Um, so yeah, uh, if if you want to give it a try, give it a try. I, I also if give it a try in all of my uh, cups, the Sapphire Diamond and the Diamond Cup as well. Um, so I'm gonna show you a, a fun little uh, 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 glitch or bug here, which you have to run call it. Right, okay. So I'm gonna mesh A. So yeah. Uh, there's no ending ceremony right there. <laughs> there's, there's nothing. You can you just if you're quick enough, you can uh, skip it right through it. So yeah, Ruby Cup was there. Um, Sapphire Cup. So it's gonna be a bit uh, more difficult. Um, yeah, uh, let's let's go through them, right? Um, first track is Super Dive. Um, yeah, this uh, track introduced you to like really tricky uh, uh, corners. Um, yeah, uh, what's gonna uh, the super dive be like? Who knows? And I've played uh, these cups so many times, and even and still, this uh, this track is one of them that's like I still have difficulties get through uh, properly. <laughs> oh, this decay tea. And there's another one as well. And there's the super dive. <laughs> yeah, I really want to give uh, these players this this. this a satisfying ex experience um, because uh, the, the frustration with, uh, that I have with the official uh, like quote quote official um, uh, tracks uh, for the uh, Grand Prix in this game they, they are so atrociously built uh, outdated um, introduced to new hazards but not uh, actually uh, redesigned uh, tracks that's actually um, not gonna lie, pisses me off. So it's, it, it, I, I've tried it, tried it uh, b b like not, not long ago uh, again, actually, and it's yeah, I still hate it. So if they go to uh, do that uh, thing with uh, environments, overhaul the whole Grand Prix, I can stress that enough. So we're going here to. The last part of the track, the super dive. On the left, because why not? So that was super dive. It's, uh, yeah, it's get, it gets trickier and trickier. So the next track is called Roads, uh, uh, Rough Skip, sorry. Um, yeah, introduces to uh, jump plates. And jump plates on itself, um, they're implemented uh, uh, good, but uh, they lack uh, one uh, key feature, in, in my opinion. You see, uh, I um, placed these. Uh, a jump plate uh, like that in, the, in a row and it doesn't cover the, uh, the whole uh, width of the track and you'll uh, see uh, what I mean uh, uh, later because you, you can just um, fall through uh, these jump plates and you will not make the jump and <laughs> there are a couple of tracks that are actually cru uh, crucial to do that
Yeah, and this track is mostly flat, so it's... Yeah. Uh, this is mostly... Uh, nope. Oops. <laughs> well, that's the first death. <laughs> that wasn't uh, going on right. But uh, this is more like a, um, a, sh a showcase uh, for you guys. So like I said, it's the uh, track is mostly flat, uh, but that's because I want to have uh, this, uh, this satisfying feeling of uh, jumping over these rough fields, right? And ha hence uh, the, the the title of uh, the, this uh, track, uh, Rough Skin. Well, I could have uh, done with like a uh, cover the whole field uh, with the rough uh, thing, but that yeah, I don't know, would be a little bit too punishing. At some point. Because of that, uh, that uh, point is like you really have to uh, hit the jump place, otherwise you, you yeah you you get punished. Would be nice, but it's uh, uh, it's a bit too early for, uh, to introduce that kind of um, hazard that I had, man had in mind. Um, so yeah, that was rough skip. Um, this brings you to the uh, next part when uh, again I show you that auto-generated um, scenery does not work properly in cylinder spiral. with a very fitting uh, a piece of music that I have uh, chosen. And you go right to this. <laughs> right to this building. Uh, that was not uh, meant uh, to be that uh, way. Yeah, th these health plates and the boost plates is um, a, as a layout like a spiral. So, yeah. So you can go to right and uh, hitting these uh, boost plates, or if you want to uh, just he healing up constantly, you uh, just go, go to that part as well. But it's mostly an introduction to uh, the, the cylinder, uh, a part of the track that you can do. Again, go to this. The building that wasn't meant to be. You see, just like that, you it's like, oh, I just want to heal constantly. Okay, go, just go for it. Yeah. There's a narrow part of uh, the cylinder. I just really love how they Im implemented uh, uh, cylinders and pipes uh, in this game. Really love, uh, really love it. But what I, um, what I, uh, not particularly like is that well, you you saw the the death earlier in Wolf Skip. Well, that's because it has no uh, auto um, self writing um, graf uh, gravity uh, center uh, like they do in uh, F Zero X and GX. Because if you see in those games, especially in, for example, cylinder mode in F Zero GX, if you go upside down, uh, dropping off from the cylinder there, you will auto center back to, um, yeah, going right side up. But that's not the case here, and I really wish they did that. So that was Cylinder Spiral. There's a loading quite a bit for this one. Hmm. Right, uh, Frostbite. Well, <laughs> introduction to the ice fields.
Yeah, there's big blue. I it's <laughs> just putting spaces there because yeah. What, what, what else can I put it? Uh, you know. Um, I just really wish uh, there was again more variety, but yeah, dead ones. And man, these ice <laughs> physics is uh, are really uh, tough to, to handle. Also, this part is oh, so tough to handle. Oh, I didn't. Uh, <laughs> it doesn't happen often that I don't hit uh, a wall there. I really love uh, making this cor uh, corkscrew loop because it was uh, in, in the pipelines in, in my dreams uh, it, like years ago when it was. Uh, a bit younger uh, than uh, what I uh, am now, uh, 31 years old. Yeah. Like, um, my hair is literally turning grey before we're getting a new F0 in it. Um, yeah. I'm not liking it, uh, Chief. <laughs> that almost went wrong. Let's see if I can get a suicide finish here because that is hilarious. Nope. <laughs> it's like sometimes if I raise this track, uh, I'll hit this ice uh, field and it will slide me right uh, to that uh, finish line uh, while I am. Uh, yeah. Uh, destroyed. So that was uh, Frostbite, which brings me to uh, one of the more difficult uh, tracks um, uh, overall that I built. Drift District. This is based on Ultimate Secree from Maximum Velocity. It, and it also has the Bianca City uh, team here. Although I visit will be a bit louder, but yeah. So yeah, uh, it's it's based on that track. So <laughs> uh, yeah, this this uh, track is uh, totally flat, and it also has a part of uh, that was based on. Uh, uh, muted the t uh, technique from F Zero X. Oh, I missed that. There's also a, a bit of a bummer because you, uh, <laughs> I really want to uh, place uh, health uh, place as straight as possible, but sometimes you, you just can't. Because if you see it, like, look closely, um, it, it just it ends up in a uh, like a, a bend or something that that I don't want. I'm also thinking that that zigzag part uh, is a, a bit overkill for what I really wanted to have, um, because it's like oh, that's really uh, like a mm, difficult part. But I don't want to be it, like it being really punishing for new players. God, I love bars like that. I want uh, one more time for good sake. <laughs> I'm just fucking around. Uh, so yeah, that uh, was the Sapphire Cup. Um, 
yeah, you see, <laughs> just, just skip it like that. Um, right. Next one is uh, personally my favorite uh, of the bunch, the Emerald Cup, and you'll see why. So the first track in this uh, cup is Treadmill Fred. Um, it's it, well before we also we had conveyor belts, but now it's really introduce you to the uh, what conveyor belts can do. Brace yourself because this is going to be a fast one. Yeah, as you also can see those cacti uh, going through the tracks. That's not my intention. <laughs> intentions. So yeah, there's a combination with uh, conveyor belts and the rough fields. You know what? We're gonna do that again because I'm. <laughs> that should not happen. <laughs> ah, it's okay. I, I really like uh, to race uh, these tracks. Man, if you hit everything right, you, you can get to, through this through one lap so quickly. You know what I also really love? When I put this uh, music uh, in the background, it's like you can have a uh, orientation on how quick you're going. So, like, okay, this, this part's okay, this is gonna be really fast now. Yeah. I also really like uh, this trade. It's a. Sent Ocean, based uh, on the music uh, f uh, for F Zero GX. Sorry for the lack for of commentating because I <laughs> I really like to get to these kind of tracks really quickly. There we go. <laughs> I'm just really enjoying myself, and I I really hope uh, like the, the viewers uh, in this uh, video, if you want to give these uh, cups a try, please do. I not only made it for myself, I really made it for the rest of the people. Oh my god, these, these cacti go to the tracks. Oh my god. I really wish... If you, if you can uh, design these tracks uh, to your own, that we can place the scenery. So, this track is called Crucial Accuracy. And you'll see why I called this track like that. Yeah, that's right. It has no rails. Yeah. So this is now the part that uh, the <laughs> that I want to introduce you to those um, wilderness uh, tracks. Yeah. I'm not gonna uh, play around anymore. This is now gonna be uh, difficult from here on out. But hey, wanna be a more fun track, uh, be it like that. Hmm? So yeah, Crucial Accuracy, uh, it's uh, also a fast track and uh, yeah, introduce you to this uh, new thing uh, 
that you can follow at any uh, place on the track, uh, well, except for, for the beginning part uh, of it. And there's a reason why I put uh, Cosmo Terminal on this uh, one, because, yeah. <laughs> If anyone is going out there for the first time, it's like, oh, we're going to uh, these, uh, the, this trident parts. It's like, yeah. <laughs> they're, they're, they're all as no real, so good luck with that. Final lap. Overtaking certain AI. I just want to have the feeling like, yeah, it, the track is going to be more difficult, but you can still go fast through them if you uh, just be accurate enough in, in steering and whatnot. Oh, that part is a bit dangerous because you have no orientation on uh, how that uh, blind uh, right is going to be. But hey, it's a, it's a, it's like a sort of a wake up call for new players. It's like, hey, that can happen. But hey, you can also go fast if you want. That was crucial accuracy. So the next part, uh, next track is. Um, what many consider uh, um, one of their favorites is Triangle Jeopardy. Um, just made a strike, uh, like, okay, let's see what I can do uh, with this uh, jump plates. And I'm gonna show you why it's important to have a jump plate that's covered the whole width of the track. So, first part is not much going on, it's just hitting moves plates in a corkscrew. So if these uh, drop-offs, nothing special here, go in the pipe, well, uh, I just want to have a nice uh, transition from one uh, part of the course to the next. Okay. So this, these are the parts that I was talking about. And with no rails at the end of it. So yeah, it's now going to be a bit more difficult. Uh, in this. Um, and yeah, for some reason the AI cannot handle uh, those uh, jump uh, uh, plates. So uh, yeah, I have no no idea why, but. Um, if I uh, put it on disabled, like every a AI here is is going to die. <laughs> so yeah, it's one of those meat grinder tricks. Yeah, for some reason this AI cannot handle these uh, parts, and especially this big jump uh, right here. It's, uh, but I really want to have a satisfying ending uh, to a, a lap uh, to, uh, to get through uh, the track, right? And guess what, this is not the only uh, track that uh, introduces uh, to ne uh, to crucial and necessary uh, uh, jump plays like to do a danger steps uh, in F zero uh, X, even though you cannot do a uh, DTD uh, <laughs> that kind of uh, uh, trick uh, like there in uh, F zero X. Which brings me to my all-time favorite. Oh, all-time is a bit hyperbolic, but I really love this uh, kind of tracks. Half-Pipe Mania, with a fit of music. It's 
So yeah, for any F Zero races out there, yep, yeah, this is your health pipe track. Uh, if if you do something like this, yeah, you you gotta have a health pipe uh, track like this. Of course, no wheels. But I also want to have a sat satisfying feeling of getting through these third tracks, right? Who's <laughs> playing? Yeah, that's alright. You might uh, think to yourself, why do you have so many boost plates in these uh, tracks that you build? Well, it's because it's way more satisfying to, uh, to go th uh, through these long courses because yeah it, it, it uh, has like this auto uh, regeneration of your health is which is true but it's it's not satisfying enough for me because uh, I want uh, you guys to getting through these tracks it's like a lot of speed and still have like the uh, like a, really authentic F-Zero experience, right? Going fast through these tracks and this is... Yeah. Not not so many uh, tracks uh, do that, especially in the of official Grand Prix tracks. From which I'm hopefully... Uh, I, I've, be I've best at uh, the dead horse enough. Uh, like, yeah, this is... Uh, why <laughs> I hated the official Grand Prix tracks in this game. Yeah. yeah, that was uh, Half Pipe Mania. Uh, I just, I just really admire the um, the build I've did. Not tooting uh, uh, my own uh, horn, but believe me, it, it's, it's such a nice view uh, to to have a track like uh, this. So, which brings me to uh, the more contrast uh, part of the the cup, Mobius Hazards, and this like. Uh, the parts is like, yeah, I really want to uh, them to have a lava field because all now I have to work with is the introduction to these bumpers slash mines, you know. And if they are gonna introduce it to, yeah, lava hazards and that kind of stuff, uh, then yeah, this track is gonna be over a halt uh, as well because, well, it, it should be on the. A, a, a lava a environment, fire environment, whatever, right? Um, this is also my, my least favorite uh, <laughs> track personally, uh, because it, it's it's really uh, like a, a punishing um, a track uh, to race on for uh, beginners. I think personally, because yeah, it's, you don't do this. Mines and now these mines are not uh, laying on a formation that you can predict because it's also like a, 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 like it's, a it's a Mobius ring. It's, it's a flat part in it. Like you cannot see well where you where you're going. machine this uh, f f f frail uh, like uh, fox oh, oh, uh, I I'm surprised I haven't uh, crashed uh, here yet <laughs>
But yeah, this is also one of those meat grinder tricks. It's like yeah, every AI is going to be destroyed. Especially in this part. Look look at the fireballs here. <laughs> they have so much difficulty going through them. Ah. Oh, I'm surprised it didn't have to be. Right, let's get into the ending ceremony. Uh, <laughs> yeah, maybe you can look to, for the devs, I could look to, into it uh, more. Diamond Cup. So, this is the part that I want to introduce uh, the new players. It's like, okay, I'm not fucking around anymore. I've introduced you to these hazards. And this is what I can do with them. And let's see if you can guys handle it. So without further ado, let's get to this first track of this cup. It's called Cryo Tightrope. And you'll see why I called the track like that. So this is with a combination of ice and rough fields. This part of the track, uh, based on one of the expansion uh, 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 pass, uh, ex no ex uh, expansion kit. Uh, but <laughs> <laughs> that never happened to me before. <laughs> wow. <laughs> All right. Um, all right, <laughs> I also gonna introduce you uh, to controller friendliness with this game and what is not optimized uh, with the menus. Because if you're gonna uh, do uh, re resume with the controller with the accelerator button, this will happen. I'm now holding the accelerator button. That means that <laughs> it will not work uh, from uh, resume uh, to acceleration in one button press. So if I uh, go out of the menu, I have to press the accelerator button twice. And that's uh, for a game this intense? Well, it, 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 it can be really intense. It's pretty jarring. So, yeah, I wish the devs look more into that. So, that was the part that's, uh, that's gonna introduce you. Like, yeah, the, the track can be this the thinnest uh, that you can get for, uh, for a track uh, if you edit it. It's also, with a thin uh, part of the cylinder but this is not the cryo tight row part no because hold on we have to get to this drop off in this part this is <laughs> it is all intentional it's like yeah this is what you can have with the ice fields now this is the cryo tight row yeah so <laughs> Based on big hands and big foot, um, yeah, you have those uh, ice uh, patch in the middle uh, of it. So just try not to uh, slip off of like the the thinnest part uh, of uh, the track. This it can be. Well, this, well, this this part is like the introduction to like yeah, this is the thinnest part. But now, watch it. <laughs> watch where we put. Ice field on it. And this annoying part, <laughs> but is an intentional uh, ball neck. Ooh, this is. It may look trivial and that part, but trust me, it's anything but. 
because you have to be really careful on that uh, part. Unless you go, uh, have the feeling like, yeah, I go as straight as I can be, I can just go to that part with ease. Then, yeah, go over, go for it, man. <laughs> To these health uh, plates. <laughs> like, yeah, yet again, there's no self writing uh, uh, graffiti uh, um, uh, center of, of uh, the tracks. So, uh, I have to end the cylinder with a drop off like uh, that's a bit jarring, but it is what it, what it is. Because I really want to implement it like that. That was Cryo Tightrope. Which brings me to one of the more difficult tracks for a, a ship like the Fox. Snake Journey. And you'll see why it's called Snake Journey. Yeah, this is now an introduction to the real test of cornering. So you think drift is strict test? Like, there's annoying parts that you have to turn? No. Bam. This is the one. It has small health strips here and there be for a good reason because, yeah. You'll not make it if I like, just put it like one strip uh, for the whole uh, thing. So yeah, this is gonna be s the small parts of the health right there. Ah, I missed these uh, boot plates. Again, pillar go through the tracks. That's not intentional. I, I've tried racing this with the Maverick, but oh man, it was even more difficult because the Maverick is not uh, a good of a, um, a, tur a turner. Um, it's not, not a good of a grip. This has better grip, obviously. Because I just really love that you can go really fast and, and uh, turn this good uh, as well. But with uh, Ray, you can, uh, well, undoubtedly uh, drift better. And I, I've seen like crazy st uh, stunts w uh, when I race against Ghost. And like, dude, how the fuck you do that? <laughs> Oh, I'm doing really well. Watch this. Oh. I I, <laughs> I peeked for one second on the minimap and I regret, regret that at that part. So if I <laughs> crash that part, I uh, kick myself in the nuts for that. And this was, this was meant to be like a, uh, like a, a small relief. Like, yeah, this, uh, like a, uh, a part of, like, yeah, just not uh, much of a cornering going on <laughs> yeah it's um this is the, uh, um, still surprised that i get get to uh, do this uh, track at uh, the first position because yeah it's really like what they call ray haven uh, uh these tracks because holy shit <laughs> It was really daunting to get uh, through that uh, through Snake's journey uh, with uh, with the fox, let, let alone with the Maverick. Uh, which brings me to another difficult uh, trick: Ramp Cataclysm. 
based on jumps of doom from f zero x so again a uh, total flat uh, track but it has <laughs> gaps that you really have to jump over and how do you get to, to jump over those gaps no no, uh, no uh, No need to uh, tell you about that. <laughs> so yeah, this uh, was to get these tr uh, tracks verified was a bitch because you like like one fault and it's all over, right? I'm like man, this is this should be like lo looked into more for jump plates to cover the whole width uh, of uh, the track. I'm not making that shortcut. I, I already know I'm getting too slow for that. Again, sorry for... Oh my god. I always went <laughs> between those uh, jump uh, plays. But yeah, sorry, I'm not talking about... Oh, I'm dead. I'm not, I'm not going to retry that, because that uh, will take uh, me too long. But yeah, it's, it's like, it's, 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 it's based on Jump Souls Doom, so it has uh, uh, jump plays like that. <laughs> Again, with, with, the, with the fitting uh, music in the background. Now we get to shortcut. <laughs> Again, this boo boo AI that I'm overtaking, like <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> they can't catch a break. And needless to say, this is also a uh, track that AI has a lot of difficulties to get through it uh, uh, in one piece. Never happened to me. What the fuck was that? Okay, I get to this trick. <laughs> what? It's happened again. <laughs> What's going on? I never seen this before. Oh, I really hope this doesn't won't happen in in this track. Uh, Land in Jeopardy. Personally, I, I like oh uh, messed up with naming the track uh, it, again a, a Jeopardy in the name. But well, it is a reason why I uh, do uh, naming that because uh, the landing parts here does not work optimally, and I'm gonna show you in a second if that's going to happen at all. So, diving, it, you're meant to be diving, right, in this part. Oh. Okay, doesn't... Mm, okay. Hmm. That's, uh, that's a bit weird. Because I was really worried that it uh, was going through uh, the track right there. 
So yeah, um, landing jeopardy based on Dragon Slope uh, from the Zero GX. Just have these big drop offs and then going like a uh, yeah, it's like, yeah, Dragon. I don't know. If it's yeah, it's way more hazardous than that. <laughs> Let's see if this is gonna happen again. Yeah, it's happened. So I I have no idea why it happened. Because it shouldn't happen that way. I also um, want to add a note that this uh, was supposed to be space teams, but um, the auto-generated. Uh, a scenery from the of that environment is so these blocks and the blocks can actually uh, be ob obstructed uh, for, for your landing uh, uh, parts because it, it's not meant to block off uh, the landing parts there and yeah you will press into the that kind of uh, scenery so I had to make an executive decision to uh, be in the desert Let's see if this happens again. <laughs> the, the very first platform. Uh, uh, is, it should be looked into more because it shouldn't happen this way. I don't know if. I can't recall it would happen in Desert Sky, you know? It's like. It, uh, that, that's. It's like. Uh, it could be designed better, but I, I like the track for what it uh, wants to be. But it should really look into a more like uh, what's a actual introduction to drop-offs and um, real railless uh, roads. Uh, should be. Okay, scuff landing from the rough roads. It's not going to be that way, but whatever. Okay, finished. <laughs> yeah, you can do this as well. <laughs> Oh, I love that uh, part. So, which brings me to the final track of this <laughs> cup. Half Cylinder Mayhem. So we all know about half pipes. How about the opposite of that? And this is just way more dangerous because you cannot see the end of uh, the half cylinder in one glance. Um, and I cannot recall a part. Um, no, there is a part in F0 GX uh, Firefield Undulation. Uh, when you land uh, on uh, the, the drop off, it's, 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 it's actually landing you on a half cylinder. But that's like. Very briefly. So yeah, this. Um, I'm actually liking uh, the track for what uh, it is because um, this is actually exactly 100 kilometers, uh, uh, like the the maximum limit of what you can uh, build in length for four track. Let's get to this part. This part is really <laughs> dangerous to go, to go too fast. Because you can fall off half cylinders so quickly. Um, yeah, it, it's like the track is show you these, uh, these two blue lines and that's... Uh, uh, actually show you what the center is of uh, the track and uh, actually uh, like uh, what it is today
So it's like, yeah, you, you have the introduction to these hazards, but you weren't introduced to this one. It's it's such a dangerous course to get through it fast because you can s s misalign to the center so quickly. <laughs> it's, but hey, that's what it was meant to be. Really ch challenging and also uh, a nice introduction to a, a new... Uh, a uh, part uh, of a uh, track that can be built. And I always wanted to have a track with a half cylinder because it's it's such a such a fun but challenging uh, feature to, to that has never been uh, touched uh, uh, before in it, in my honest opinion. But I really wanted to have uh, the, the the guys who watch uh, viewers here. It's like hey, I really want to uh, give this track a try. Oh, go for it! Go, go race it at your leisure. You know, it's a uh, it's a really fun race, uh, fun track to race on. So that concludes um, uh, the Diamond Cup, and thus concludes all of the cups that I have made for this uh, uh, this game. So let this uh, uh, final uh, the, the ending ceremony play out. Uh, it's it's really fun to make tracks and uh, show it uh, for my fellow racers to like. Hey, uh, this is what I built. This is what my intentions are. Um, yeah, go for it. Give it give it a try. Uh, I really love. Uh, the mechanics, the uh, really love uh, the response, uh, response time in these, uh, the controls, controls feel really nice, physics feel really nice, um, otherwise I wouldn't be played for uh, so long, I've now had like uh, 150 uh, uh, plus hours in this uh, game, so yeah, um, I, I really hope you guys have enjoyed this uh, uh, like a playthrough of me going to my own tracks um, and so, so my uh, opinions on uh, what, the, what the devs for these games should look into more. But before I'm going, let me uh, show you what I uh, have been going in the pipelines because I had in my mind a fifth cup. Um, and it has uh, already it's like two tracks uh, built, uh, or not built, was more like uh, going for what, uh, uh, what can I add more, what can I uh, do more to, uh, uh, to challenge uh, the, uh, the players, right? So um, this one is called Mirror Cross. It's basically a, a, a Mobius Ring times two. It's <laughs> um, it, it speaks for itself. Um, and the, the the next one is a uh, the pentagram pandemonium. It's a like a twist on my part of uh, like the expansion kit, uh, one of the expansion kit uh, tracks from F Zero X, uh, named Great Star, I believe. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, this is like my part. Um, that was uh, like. An, uh, in the pipelines of what uh, I wanted to have in uh, like a fifth cup, but until then, I really want to wait out for these updates to uh, get implemented in these games. Um, so yeah, I really hope you guys have enjoyed uh, the playthrough, and thank you so much for watching. And well, who knows where I'm gonna show up next? Bye bye for now. <laughs>